Greetings, my fellow normies. I hope you're all doing well today. We're going to um, go over a couple of the episodes of um, of the boys and all that. And we're going to discuss some of the things that are going on and stuff and <clears throat> all that. Um, this se season for me is seems slow. It seems very um, in pieces and stuff. A lot of shock factors are showing up at the end of episodes and stuff, not in between. Um, it's still good and stuff. There's a side story about the deep that I just don't care. And stuff. They're, they're trying to like fix his image to get him back in the seven. And, and Homelander is trying to uh, mold the seven into what he wants and who he wants on it and stuff. And it's not really working out that way and all that. And then this strange group get their hands on the deep and stuff and they get him married to to show that he's a likable guy and all this stuff it's it's creepy and just kind of just stupid on the side <clears throat> some people have been saying that it's absolutely a badass and fantastic gore action humor rock and cast that i can agree with um the storylines are pretty good i just think that there needs to be more of that action and gore and all that in between and, and all that shock value in the in there. Like in the latest episode and stuff like that, um, uh, Stormfront and Homelander uh, pretty much get it on and realize that it um, looks like Stormfront is as indestructible as uh, Homelander is and all that. And um, if you don't know, I, I don't know much about the comics, but... My understanding is that character is a male, and it looks like she's about. They found out in the latest episode that she, the one that they went on the the road trip, to find out about this <clears throat> character named Liberty, um, this here superhero. She seems to be seventy years old and hasn't aged, and so I'm wondering. If around that time period, I'm wondering if she was a Yahtzee experiment because I don't know the comics and stuff, so I'm assuming that's what she is. So now I'm wondering too if Homelander and it was born and not created with Compound V, you know, and all that because Homelander's child, his offspring with Butcher's wife was born with superpowers not born of with uh compound v so there's a twist coming but i will tell you too homeland uh, not homelander but stormfront's character is really tippy toeing on a lot of controversial issues with regards to race and a certain type of race and purity and all that that was around during World War II, during a certain uh, uh, World War II leader uh, that was part of eugenics and uh, experiments and stuff of the Yahtzees, you know? We can't say the real wor word because the YouTube, uh, <clears throat> the YouTube um, censors don't like us using that uh, word. But... Um, Others had say also had to say that all the things that pull pull me into this show, I checked it out because it was from one of the creators of Supernatural, and was sold in the first five minutes. That's all it took to let me know this show was going to be my deal, 110% become instant favorite. I can't wait to watch the season two that just aired. This person was saying and all that, and I have to agree with him. I didn't know anything about the Supernatural. And stuff like that. I tried to get into that show on CW, but I just got so sick of it and all that. Um, there's a lot of humor in it, um, a lot of crass and very a lot of dry humor and stuff. Um, I really enjoy the cast, like Carl Urban um, and all that. Um, this latest episode that um, that just dropped, which I'm enjoying that they're dropping them weekly. They're dropping them every Friday night. <clears throat> and I'm I'm really enjoying that, and um, because I'm tired of the the binging model and stuff. I, you know, 
I can binge it at the end if I if I really don't want to watch it. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, is it gives us a chance to talk about it on our blogs, on our websites, you know, to write articles about it, or even to just, you know, do um, YouTube videos and all that about um, it, you know, and discuss it, which I'm hoping that Amazon learns their lesson and does the same thing with The Expanse and stuff like that, because I, I really want to see The Expanse um, grow. And um, even though last season was, last season was kind of, eh, you know, so this latest episode goes into a lot of areas. Um, it re it, it's kind of all over the place and stuff, and it refocuses itself and, and all that. Um, Butcher and the boys, they're stuck in uh, Butcher's, what it looks like her aunt his auntie's house. And stuff like that. He's got this bulldog and, and all that. And Black Noir is, uh, is hunting them. Uh, per the request of Homelander and stuff. Well, Black Nora gets the better of Butcher and stuff. And, and uh, Black Nora goes uh, and reveal, um, uh, has Butcher against the wall, literally, and stuff. And he he tells Black Noir, why don't you get your boss on the line? Because you know what? Did you not know that I will uh, let it out that Homelander's son um, was born and that um, I'll let the whole world know? And all this stuff, you know. <clears throat> and um, I'm like, holy crap, dude. And Black Nora lets him go. And stuff, dude. It, it's 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 a pretty tense scene and stuff, dude. And all that. They try and draw him out. And stuff like that. They try to kill him. But I don't, I don't think you can kill him either. And stuff. He seems indestructible. So, you know, it's, it's, it's very interesting, you know. Um... I'm not too sure what to think overall yet and stuff. I'm not willing to kind of um, <clears throat> um, say that I dislike the show and stuff like that. Um, the boys are not on screen very much. And stuff. There seems to be a weird way of, um, of this season doesn't seem to give enough airtime to everybody. And I don't know why that might be the case and stuff, you know. Um, but I have to say that I really like the the character Kamiko and stuff. She's 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 not deaf, but she can't speak apparently. And she she kind of came up with a new like sign language with her brother, the one that got killed a few episodes ago, and all that. I like her character and stuff, and I really like um, uh, Stormfront. <clears throat> she's she's not what you expect in a lot of ways. Um, She's got lightning powers. Um, she's terrifying. She's a psychopath, just like freaking Homelander is, and stuff and all that. But she's a little subtle about it, and all that. Um, so I, I, I don't know. It's, it's very interesting, and I'm wondering what this, where they're going with, with, uh, with Stormfront. To be honest, um, I will say that if you haven't been listening or you know anything about the boys, it's it's not a generic superheroes movie. It's, it's basically what if superheroes were real and, and, and they were basically Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Like you would have actors and so on and so forth, you know? Instead you have superheroes and that are being managed by PR and and all that stuff to do different things and all that, you know. But <clears throat> it doesn't matter what they do. And all that, they, um, they don't, um, and nothing ever really goes right, but Homelander's just a psychopath anyways. He was, he was born in isolation. And what they're doing different with Homelander's son with Butcher's wife is they're, they're raising him right so that he knows right from wrong. And that's the problem with, with Homelander. He's just, he was born in captivity, basically. He, he doesn't have any, um, he doesn't care really, you know what I'm saying? He'll kill anybody, doesn't matter and stuff, you know, and all that stuff. But, um, but again, I think the first season of The Boys was fantastic. Like all season one seemed to be lately and season two don't seem to be able to deliver much on things and all that. Um, I don't know. 
you know, I, I didn't want to go over too much of it. I just want to kind of give my opinion. I'm still kind of mulling around about the, the situation and all that, but um, I'd really appreciate your, your thoughts um, on the situation. Um, if you would, please give me a, a like, subscribe, share. Um, I know that many of you are watching my videos. I know that many of you have not liked and not subscribed. So if you would, please subscribe and like my videos. If you don't even, if you dislike them, dislike them too. I don't care. That's a, you know, either way, it boosts me. You know what I'm saying? But um, let me know. All right. Take care, everybody. Out.